Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, and today we have the Big Ten Media Rights Reaction. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Now, I'm going to say, the Big Ten did it. They did it. They got the deal done. There is no ESPN in it. It is Fox, CBS, and NBC, just like I said in my video the other day. And they are going to be able to counter-promote these teams on these networks. And the thing is, is that this deal is worth $7 billion. $7 billion. This is the biggest deal in history of collegiate athletics media rights. It is the biggest deal ever. $7 billion this is worth. Every team over the seven-year deal, this is going from 2023 to 2030. Every team is going to make $430 million plus dollars over that seven-year period. And every year, they're going to make almost $100 million. That is why USC and UCLA is leaving the Pac-12 to join the Big Ten, because that's a lot of money. That much money, that's an unfathomable amount of money. Just for TV rights, air games, that's how much money. And most of this is football. Most of this is geared toward football. Football is generating this move by the Big Ten to add USC and UCLA and to get this new media rights deal worth this much. And they, and they cut the core with ESPN. And I don't think not having ESPN is not a big deal because you're going to have Fox airing at noon, CBS, again, the old SEC slot at 3.30, and NBC is going to be airing a night game. They're going to be able to counter-promote the teams on these networks. I don't see it as a big deal at all. It, this is a great deal. And they're, they're, they're cross-promoting the championship game as well. CBS is going to be airing the football championship in 2024 and 2028. Fox is going to be doing it in 2023, 2025, 2027, and 2029. And NBC is going to air the championship game in 2026. Now, you see Fox wants to have it on their network the most obviously because of the fact that they own the majority of the Big Ten. So they're going to air the championship game more often. But in basketball, men's basketball, you're still going to have the CBS semifinals and championship game as it has been. But now the women's basketball is going to have their championship on CBS as well, which I think is really cool. So see, this is a added benefit of this because you're going to have all these teams on all these networks, CBS, Fox, NBC, and including FS1 still and uh, Big Ten Network. That's going to help out putting all of these teams on these networks. And uh, you're going to be able to get more games on these networks. Now, I will say the one downside to this that's frustrating is that NBC is streaming service Peacock is also going to air games. Now, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. But the thing is, is that CBS is Paramount Plus, which is a streaming service, shows TV shows, it shows movies. They're simulcasting the CBS 330 game, and they're putting it on Paramount Plus at the same time. And that's fine, because if you don't have Paramount Plus, you can watch it on CBS. If you do have Paramount Plus, you can watch it on Paramount Plus. NBC is doing the same thing on the Saturday Night Football game. You're going to have the 730 game. On NBC, and then it's going to be simulcast at the same time on Peacock, and that's cool. I, mean, I think it's cool. You can put it on both, and people can watch it if they have Peacock. But the problem is, is that 47 men's basketball games and eight football games are going to be on Peacock exclusively, and that's the thing I don't like. It's the only negative that I do not like about this media rights deal because if you don't have Peacock, you can't watch those games, and if you do have Peacock, that's fine. It doesn't affect you, and it doesn't matter. But if you don't have Peacock, then that stinks. And I will say when I in my, my Big Ten Media the, uh, video a few days ago, I mentioned Amazon and Apple because they were potentially going to be a part of the deal. Most people have Amazon. Some people don't. And on Apple, you know, Apple, what they were part of as well, but not a lot of people have that either. And... That would have sucked because you, you wouldn't be able to watch those games on those networks. But with Peacock being the exclusive one of that deal, then you cannot watch those games on Peacock unless you have it. Now, again, Peacock's only $5 a month. And, you know, people can probably, if they want to watch games super bad, will just get it to watch it. But it, it does stink that you have to pay more money to watch exclusive games. But I will say it's not going to be that big a deal, however, because you have 
16 Big Ten teams after 2024 with the addition of USC and UCLA. And there's only going to be 47 men's basketball games on there every year. So that's probably about three times that your team's going to be on three or four times a year. And uh, in eight, the eight football games, you're probably going to have it one time. So it's not like you're going to miss that many games if you don't want to have Peacock. But it still stinks that you're going to have to get Peacock if you want to watch these games. They'll probably rear them on Big Ten Network as well. But still, that's the only negative to this. But everything else about the deal I like. I like that it's going to be on Fox, CBS, and NBC. I think that's a great move to counterbalance the SBM and in the, in the SEC and the ACC being on the, that network. They're making tons of money. This is going to benefit the Big Ten. It's going to benefit the Big Ten schools. It's going to benefit college athletics, and it's going to benefit us fans because we're going to be able to watch all these games and all these networks, all these announcers, all the you know the the glory and of Fox and CBS and NBC of all these. You're going to have the different feel of all three networks and your team being on there. It's I don't think not having it on ESPN. I don't think that hurts at all. I just think not having having it on Peacock burns a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Now, what's going to be interesting to see is in a couple of years when the SEC does their next media rights deal, will they top this $7 billion deal over seven years? Will they make it close to $10 billion? You know the SEC is going to want to outdo the Big Ten. So that's going to be very interesting to see. But I think this deal is great for the Big Ten. I think it is great for all of us. I think it's, it's, it's a great deal. It's just that one little negative, and there's always a little negative, but at the end of the day, I don't think having games on Peacock is going to be that big a deal because you're not going to be able to miss that many. And most of the big games are going to be on Fox, CBS, and NBC, and FS1 and Big Ten Network. And I think this was a big deal. It was, it's the biggest deal in collegiate athletic history. And will the SEC top in the future? We'll see. But, wow, they got it done. No ESPN for the first time in 40 years. And we'll see what goes on from here. I hope you like this video. Comment down below what you think about the Big Ten Media Rights deal and what you think about it. Subscribe if you like, want to see more of this kind of content. I uh, hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time.